Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, did you see uh, the the Pope walking around with some hip threads the other day? Yo, that coat is fire. Man, I got one of them uh, coming. I'm going to wear it around all summer. Oh, man, that's a Balenciaga. You know how much that coat costs? Oh, really? That's I, a it looked like it was like a Walmart coat. Bro, that's a Balenciaga coat. I don't that, care, that coat is. That, I understand, but that is okay. It's ten k. Uh, probably, maybe fifteen, twenty. Yeah, was that? I don't you, know for sure. Was that you? That one day we were looking up, we saw like some NFL player in a suit or a basketball player, and we we're like, let's look that up. That was like a Louis Vuitton suit, and it was like lime ass green. I don't remember. And we were like, oh, just the jacket is twenty thousand dollars, or yeah. like whatever. I was like, yeah. Who wants? To, I'm getting back to the Pope, but I want. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, we've already no, tan- we're ahead. eight go, seconds go, go. in and we've tangented. It's all right. Go okay. ahead. And I want your opinion on this because I know like you, you can be a snazzy dresser and like you, you like kind of wear like no. I you, don't know, dude. I kind of fell off, but I feel but, you. But I you used, used to I used like to like wearing yes. nice clothes. Yes, and doing, yes, yes, you know. yes, yes, yes. So, and I know some of those clothes weren't cheap, right? But can you, how do you feel about buying like a shirt that's like? Let me just start with this: a t-shirt that's like three hundred dollars. But it's just a t-shirt. Yeah. Like, how do you feel? Like, to me, that seems insane. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how anyone thinks that's a good value, how anyone thinks that's worth it. That, okay. And see, and as I have gotten older, I have to agree with you to a certain extent. Okay. But I will say is that it feels good to be fly. It feels good. It feels does good. Does it? It does. It feels very good to be fly. So I need to go to a high end department store and just try on like a seven hundred dollar shirt. You, d- just imagine if you were walking around in I don't know five thousand dollars worth of clothes right now. I would be so worried that I was going to ruin them. Hey, and honestly, that's why a lot of people get mad if you step on their sneakers in the club or you spill something on them. Yo, be careful. Yeah, this is a ten thousand dollars shirt. Exactly, but it feels good. To, it feels good to know you got that. Interesting. I under, I, and, so it's and, like, and, and it's all just like, like a mental thing. But I think it's 100%. like in the Kanye songs. He's like, I, I bought this just to say you ain't up on this. Like, exactly. Like I don't need it, but like, hey, you ain't got it, and I do. Yeah, like, like, like we were talking in in the uh, yesterday's episode about uh, when three hundred dollars doesn't seem like. You know, when three hundred dollars feel like thirty dollars, and when three thousand dollars feel like three hundred dollars, as you feel, move up, okay. man, I wish, I wish that it felt that way. But yeah, three thousand yeah. dollars is still a lot. To uh, yeah, me. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, you know, I feel that's like, the boat I'm in. I feel that no matter how much money I had, I don't know if I would ever like. It, it's just I don't know. It, for me to like, I think my roots of knowing how how much is too much for something would yeah. like even if I had. A million dollars in my bank account right now, I'd be like, I ain't buying a three hundred dollar t shirt. Get out of here. Like I just feel like even though I that three hundred dollars at that point is like three bucks if you have a million dollars, right? I, I agree. But I agree. Anyways, back look, to the Pope. Look, if you want to make Jonas a millionaire, TNT Dynamite seven 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 on Cash App, you can make hey, Jonas a millionaire. Listen, I'll I'll tell you right now, if you make us millionaires, <laughs> we will make not great content. We They're will focus they will be edited. Bro. Hell the, yeah. The, oh, we'll oh. hire a staff. Yo. We'll have a production crew. Like you you think we're funny with like a zero dollar budget? Bro. Wait until wait if we had a real budget. Um, when I started writing, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I got paid to write I think I should start writing copy. I've been looking into it. Copy of what? Writing copy is uh when you like uh the like for uh commercials for uh like uh interludes and like uh oh it's almost like writing for a show or something gotcha. like that. That's essentially like, hey, kids, copy. diarrhea got you down, try this new pill, Flamacil. That It'll get you right back up in the morning. Yeah. yeah. You got shit running down your leg, we'll stop that with Flamacil. I don't think that would work in a daytime commercial during the Ellen show. Oh, here you go. Is you it, said the S word. Does your penis not work anymore? <laughs> Hey guys, no. is your little friend unhappy? <laughs> I don't know if the Judge Mathis viewers are going to go for that commercial. <laughs> oh, <anyway. laughs> you got to try to get them in a community college. It, bro, oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, back back to the Pope, bro. All right, the Pope. So yeah, what about the, the freaking Pope? It was fake. okay. We so all know that was a hundred percent fake photo. Yeah, that was. It was yeah, digitally it was edited. Ago. And and here was I guess here's kind of like the bigger picture problem of that. So I saw that. Yeah. Saw it online. Looked. Saw it was like, oh, that's funny. The co- the Pope's wearing a jacket. Fire, fire coat, by the yeah, way. Yeah, fire coat. 
And uh, and I literally didn't care about it anymore after that. Didn't realize it was fake at first. Just was like, oh, yeah. the Pope's in a coat. That's funny. Moved on. Never thought of it again. Yeah. I guess the problem with this is if you can do this with anything, some really wild shit. Can you see the ones where people uh, yeah. people made vi using the same technology yeah. videos of uh, Trump getting arrested and like having yep. him like police chasing him uh, and yeah. like all this other stuff? There was a uh, a series of photos that were was going around Twitter of uh, oh, him working out in the yard. <laughs> I didn't see. I saw the ones where he was like quote unquote getting arrested and like I, you know. And honestly, Jonas, we we should bring this up because these these are a little late, but it did happen. What? He got indicted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, but he hasn't been arrested yet. Yeah, but, the, you know. They saying, didn't drag him away in cuffs or anything. Like yeah. He, but you've already heard enough about that, so we ain't going to talk yeah, about I it. Yeah, don't, I don't like giving him space anyway. No, yeah, but, yeah. yeah anyway. It happened, and but we yeah. know, but we don't talk about yeah, that. Yeah, we here. don't talk about that. It's like my childhood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, Pope Coat. Pope, so, <laughs> but, I like, but I guess, like, deep fakes is already a problem, right? But yeah, he, 100%. Deep, but deep fake videos, even, like, when they're fake, they still look kind of fake, right? Like, you, yeah. I mean, they're get, and they'll get better or whatever. But There's an Elizabeth Olsen series of deep fakes that you might well, no, oh, never mind. Nothing, never mind. Uh, I'm just, nothing. But d deep fake photos, like, mm -hmm. that photo of the Pope looks real. Yeah. And like and and this is harmless, right? Like like I look like I looked yeah. at it as a normal person who's not into the church and just was like, "Oh, the pope's wearing a funny coat." Haha. -ha. Like and moved on. But if it was like some other ish and it starts getting on internet, everyone believes what they see on Twitter and Facebook, like my question is that is did he use deep fake technology or did he just use like uh what's the program you used to make uh thumbnails? What is that? Photoshop? Yeah, Photoshop. Was I that think just this Photoshop? is more deep fake. I think because it's a. I know a, oh, that no, deep I, fake it, is being accredited to it. Oh uh, well, no! Here's here's the reason I brought it because I saw an. Ar this is the only reason I knew this. All right. The, the image, the article headline: AI image of Pope Francis in a puffer jacket fooled the internet. Oh, so it's an AI generated image. Okay. So it's like, so it's like people go to like Chat GP now and like type in oh, stuff yeah. and like whatever. Have you played with that at all? No, I haven't set up an account or anything. No, I'm I don't tempted, care. Man, it's it's and what they said about Chat GP and, and all this AI technology is yeah. like it it's still like people use it as gospel. It still puts out bullshit. Like, it even does. though it has all the knowledge of the internet, like, and yeah, it can't yeah. give you useful information. Mm -hmm. it, it, there's enough BS on the internet. It, it just pulls all of its data from the internet. It, do, it, it does do some good work. Uh, you got to proofread. You got to prove. So don't think that you can just have it write your dissertation because you're going to have to proofread it. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You got to sure. become an editor. Because it'll be easily proven that you're just using chat GPT if you don't, if you're not. Yeah, what, what I've read is that uh, people have been using it uh, with their girlfriends to write like love notes and love poems and That's stuff. That's a good idea. But then, like, but then what happens is like when they get called out like on the spot, they're trash and they can't do it because, like, if they're like, you know, because if you do all that for so long and then like you ex you have to do it on your own or something, you, you ain't gonna be able to match chat GPT's like, no. sor uh, well, uh, af <laughs> wait, sorry. Aphrodisiac, whatever. <laughs> Cyrano Diversion? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, Cyrano. That's what um, I was saying. Yeah, that's funny that Muff is going out here with ghostwriters and shit. Yeah, <laughs> like literally, like it's just ghost like writers. the show Ghostwriter. Literally got Quentin Millers. This <laughs> Quentin Millers. Is that the quick character from Ghostwriter? No. Oh, is that Drake's Ghostwriter? No. <laughs> Your words, not mine, sir. I would never speak ill about uh, Champagne Poppy. Man, you know, his hotline bling. I'm just saying, yo, if Drake ever listens to, maybe Drake listens to the to the podcast, and I don't want to make him mad. You think so? He may. You never he's know. He's got some power. He's got a lot of, he's got a lot of power, a lot of money. Yeah. But he ain't, you know, you know, he's Drake, though. Yeah, he was, uh, he played a, he, didn't he play a kid in a wheelchair? Isn't that ableist? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Why is he playing? He got shot in the show. Yeah, man. but like, why didn't, they get, the why didn't they get a real kid in a wheelchair to play that? It took a job away from a from a person. Why didn't they get a real shot kid to play them? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the, what you're saying. It doesn't have to be a shot kid. He could have just been born without wow. His why is it wow on my part? It ain't wow on me. It's wow on Degrassi, bitch. That's fucking. They're doing it wrong. They're out here taking jobs away from disabled folks. It wasn't, he wasn't disabled. He got shot in the show. 
<laughs> oh, like, oh, like he, he wasn't even come out the womb in a wheelchair. Oh, he wasn't in the wheelchair from the start. No. Oh, uh, okay, I got. You it. Never watched Degrassi. It pe- clearly, I just knew that Drake was in a chair. Oh, I saw every episode. Did sir. you? Are you a you like a Saved I, by the Bell? I've never seen a single one, but yeah. I do know the story behind the Drake in a wheelchair episode. Uh, yeah, that's sad. <laughs> It's sad that and it happens yeah, to anyone. Drake is stealing job from disabled children. <laughs> exactly. Wow. He has enough money. That's anyway, really what's his up. real name? Aubrey Graham. Ooh, that sounds official. I see why he goes by Drake. Yeah. Uh, anyways, that's all time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Yep.